And Jewel play for you in a half. Jewel still got it. They made top six today, so let's see how they how well they do against Ray, who's also been grinding on the Wi-Fi events. Come back to Palutena as well. This is Jewel's music choice, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> this is this is. That's how you know we're back at Zeno because only Jewel would pick a song like this. Game number one between Jewel and Utopian Ray. Utopian Ray already going to be getting Jewel off stage, um, but Jewel is able to fight his way back on. Mm. Uh, Utopian Ray doing a good job keeping it close, using that dash attack to keep him off. Wait, now they just both still getting a feel for each other, They're playing really, really safe. Jewel's just looking for any openings or catching dashes using his Thundu and L Thundu. Um, it's been doing a really good job of just catching a lot of grounded approaches from Ray so far. So he's going to have to start mixing it up with dash shields and uh, start jumping in a little bit more. Yeah, Ray has a fast enough character to catch Jewel on their zoning setups, as uh, Jewel would prefer to use the quick Thorons and the Lightning just to keep him away. Oh, but Jewel oh, gonna be could, trying to get the two the frame! Fear. The fear. Yeah. <laughs> the fear would have definitely influenced my teleport angle there. I got either two frame or I just need there as well, so... Um, <laughs> I was like, checkmate. It, it, it's just a nasty position to be in as well. It is. With, with a teleport like Palutena's, you just kind of like, you know, you give a big old audio cue. Wow. Nice. Nice answer back there from Utopian Ray, bringing it close to even stocks. Let's see what they can do about the setup here from the ledge. Oh, very dangerous play. I, I like the idea to go with like a two frame with neutral air though, but my question is what could have Utopian Ray gotten out of that interaction if he did manage to hit it? Because it does seem like in that position, Jewel uh, would have just had enough time to jump back onto the stage. There could have been a chance that Ray could have clipped the jump again, because the positioning is mm -hmm. good for Ray if they got the hit, so. It's, it's not it's not a bad idea to go for like edge guarding is, is really important for for people who who mm -hmm. like to survive in this game. Ooh, Jewel gonna be catching Utopian Green all that end lag after the neutral air dodge. Um, such a dangerous position to be in as well because if you don't air dodge, you do end up getting hit by up. If you do neutral air dodge, uh, you can get tracked if Jewel is quick enough. And you know what? He was. Nice, nice and done. All right, back to even again. Good yeah. parry. Mm -hmm. Ooh, is Utopian Ray going to be able to find this back here? He is not. Um, it's a little bit tight to get. And the, the Tome the tome actually gave Jewel enough opening to be, uh, you know, getting back onto the stage. Granted, Ray is going to be setting up a juggle once again. Keeps on going off stage for these two frames uh, with neutral air, but oh, because okay. because he committed, he, got, he ended up getting back here. I feel like one of the most scary spots would be mid-range against Palutena as they can jump in with that nair or snipe with the with the fire. So it's good on it's good on mm -hmm. Jewel to, to notice like the spacing and space a good button there to catch Ray uh, running in at one point. Getting this nice lead, taking it slow, slowing on the pace of the match just to just to control the game more. See if they can take this. Oh. Yeah, that Ray, good, Ray, good the way that Ray jumped off stage, uh, up until this point, he's been consistently jumping off with like a run off neutral. Um, and this time he ended up fading back to the stage and Jewel was just not ready for that option. But look at all of these thunders coming from Jewel. Such a good way of interrupting. No. Oh no. Pineapple. Pineapple. That's two of the, that's two. Yeah. Two of those stocks were Estes. Quite unfortunate. Yeah. Well the first one was like like a checkmate situation. Like either they were gonna get two framed or they had to like yeah. angle in a weird way just so they could not get hit by that down smash, but this one was definitely just getting pineapple, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Positioning, hard to, <laughs> to keep up with when you're getting pressured from the ledge like this. This is a good spot, this is a good spot for Jewel. Just take control of the ledge with that, that arc fire. Those, those thunders it's Robin at away. ledge. Yeah. You're getting ledge trapped by Robin. <laughs> you can get two frame by arc fire. You can get confirmed, uh, you know, you can follow up arc fire into any of the projectiles. It's just a nasty position to be in. So if you're already at the ledge against uh, against Robin like that, you've already lost. And now you have to guess uh, to be able to fight your way back on. So game number two in between these two. Um, I feel like if Utopian Ray is just able to really nail those teleport angles, uh, obviously we'll have like a bit of a closer game. Yeah, has to watch the spacing against this Robin. You do not want to give them the ledge. <laughs> like, like, you're coming back on, they, they have full control of it, that's giving Giving Robin the ledge, like, it's such one of the most unfortunate positions in the game. Like, when you're stuck there, you just, you know, you're just kind of exploding. Mm. Oh, nice. I see a, a lot in place, look at that grab. 
who tried to catch a jump out of the shield, but Utopia today maybe a little bit too slow, was not able to get the height that he needed in time. Jewel able to still make it back onto the stage and is now looking uh, to catch, uh, you know, just to catch away jumping good about now. Oh, wow. Jewel's moving right now just to avoid, like, this, the micro spacing on, on their play right now just to avoid all of his rays, like, buttons. It's really good. Jewel is so confident in, uh, in that down smash as well. He knows how to whittle away your options until you have to recover from low. And then he already has it built into himself. He knows that timing by heart hmm. to be able to find that too for him. So, wow. He just, there is so little that you can actually do in that kind of position. And there's a good escape there from, from Jewel now. Okay, still alive. Still somewhat in a good spot. Has to survive from the ledge here. An aggressive forward to come back in, but no confirm there from Ray. I see something to get this kill here. Uh, Jewel is playing so patiently. Ooh. You see, he's not trying to fight his way back on, but you gotta remember just how laggy of a move Arcfire really is. Um, especially out of the corner. Oh. That is a gambit. That's that angle mm, mix-up. That was a good delay there from Utopia and Ray just to recover. Because that yep. was like more damage or possibly courage for them. But that was also a good kill. Mm -hmm. Bringing it back to even again. See if they can space out that invincibility from the Angel platform. Oh. The, the thing is, in that kind of position, it's impossible to react to the angle that the opponent um, actually travels. You only know, are they going to be teleporting here or not? And then your muscle memory, that's when your reaction time really comes into play, and you're able to get that two frame. But you don't have, the, you don't have like the capacity in the moment to be able to make the decision, oh, they went high, they went low. It has to be a guess. Very true, very true. It's also important to like get position of certain hits too. So Ray can right now make it like very uncomfortable like for for Jewel to get it. like they get the hit, they get knock them away to forward tilt sometimes. And yep. then start like gaining control there of the stage. Ooh, like Jewel did just now, just getting this hit confirmed, but not gonna kill yet. Oh, nice fight back from Utopia Ray, escaping that pressure mm -hmm. there from Jewel. Yeah, it was able to give him enough coverage so that Jewel did not have time to set up a down smash. Well, an arc fight, he was just not able to get from A to be quick enough. And now, Ray just has to keep on fighting his way back from the ledge, but... Um, th honestly, Robin does not always have the out of shield to be able to contest those buttons. A good catch with that up air, but still not taking control of their hits. They're losing that stock. Jewel looking to take this set here from this one stock away. Yeah, and, and Jewel also has just not been playing a lot of Smash over quarantine like that period. Um, so it's really exciting to see him still be able to go in and have such an amazing showing so far. Um, he's just controlling the set. He has so much confidence. He has so much momentum. But now the trick is, how do you get past Palutena down tilt to get ledge? <laughs> yeah, Jewel must have had some secret training or like the fundamentals just like stayed dormant within that whole year. Just to come right back and be this strong here in top four, you know. Ooh, oh, what nice is the flex? Such a good catch because every single time from that mid range, we drop in red with either jump uh, and then not really be able to punish Jewel in time for going through Elf Thunder, or he would dash. Uh, that's how he would get keep, you know, he'd keep getting called out by those Thunders and Elf Thunders. So at that mid range, Jewel just kept on going with the status quo and was not ready for it. This is a very scary rob in the fight as they are stopping any approach right now. And there, though, it's going to be a good lead for Ray, but Ray is still not getting much of a lead off their hits. Ray is just not finding these openings, but Jewel using the drop tone as a way to cover the space under him. That was that was just really well positioned on his part. Mm. Wow, that was such a good way for him. Oh, 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 wow. Getting footstooled into that? Oh, my God. Good stuff there from Jewel, taking the set. Moving on to winner's finals. Fantastic player right there. Yeah, that was... <laughs> oh, man. That was tough because to as Ray threw him that position, so you don't even have the opportunity for an angle mix-up. So he didn't even immediately grab the ledge either. Uh, that was like a max space teleport. So I'm really curious about like what... Hmm. Was that double? Did he double tap there? Go back a little bit. I want to see that again. Jump. Oh, it looked like, like it did it twice, uh, but yeah. Hmm. That yeah. was weird. <laughs> that, was, that was a little bit weird. It's possible he did like footstool and then immediately press the double jump out of that. So mm. you'd have to like press. Oh yeah, no, that um, was like a second jump animation. Yeah, but good stuff there from Jewel, making it to winners finals top three. Wow. Potentially fighting numbers or Bonkeezy over here on the other side. Dude, Ooh. the fact that we might have potentially Jewel numbers finals, it's just meh. <laughs>
It, yeah! it, it, it feels good. Yep. To, it feels good to say, right? Like, it feels good to say. Oh my. Oh.